This week I whipped out my crock pot and I went on ahead and made a big batch of beef in the crock pot. Now this beef was pretty versatile because I seasoned it and I added different sides to it throughout the week. This dish that I'm showing you here today will be a lo mein of sorts. It's going to be a teriyaki beef lo mein. Now although the main flavors in this beef is a curry seasoning, that will not affect the taste of the teriyaki beef lo mein. In fact, it's going to enhance it tremendously. Now I do have a list of all of the ingredients that I'm using and you will see those ingredients listed throughout the video. Stay tuned and let's see how we get all of this accomplished. If you're wondering why my beef looks so pale, there's a reason for that. I rinse my meat in vinegar and water and I have a clip of me doing that at the end of the video there's a bonus clip of me doing the cleaning of my beef with vinegar. When you use any type of acid that will happen. You'll find that the acid will affect the color and the texture of your protein. But this is a choice that I make personally. You do not have to do that because I know the FDA says you do not have to rinse your meat. Follow what your heart says or what you grew up doing. I have my crock pot set on high and I'm going to go ahead and place the beef inside of the crock pot. I'm not going to pour any of the additional juices that remain in the bowl onto the beef because that juice is super concentrated and that's another word for saying that this, the juices in the bottom of that bowl probably is a little bit salty and we don't want our beef to turn out salty. The seasoning that is on the actual meat itself is plenty. Now. Go ahead and take a screenshot of the list of ingredients that's coming up. And again, you don't need to add anything else to this crock pot. No water, no oil. The beef itself will render out enough liquid and oil that you don't need to add any additionally. After four hours, go ahead and let your meat rest in the crock pot for another 30 minutes and then Go ahead and check it. Now I like to do what I call a tender beef check by using a spoon to see if I can cut through my beef with the spoon. So here I am showing you that with the spoon, I was able to cut through that beef. Four hours on high, in the crock pot. There you have it, tender beef. Now that night we ate the beef with some rice and salad. This container is what's going in the fridge for the next day, which is actually coming up in just a second. Here we are, we're at the next day. As you can see at the back of the clip there, my beef is sitting out on the countertop from the fridge and I'm giving all of my vegetables a good chop that's gonna go into the lo mein. As you can see, we have carrots, cabbage, onions, green peppers, tricolor peppers, corn, and peas. Those are the vegetables we're gonna be using to add to our beef in order to make this teriyaki beef lo mein dish. Now in my grinder, I'm just adding some garlic cloves, and then I'm gonna pour over some vinegar, and then we're gonna take this mixture, add some sesame oil to it, and pour it inside of a jar that contains red peppers. This is a red pepper sauce that I would like to add to the lo mein on the side in order to not make the entire dish too spicy for my children, okay? And I have that list of ingredients coming up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the vegetables sauteed in some sesame oil. First, I'm gonna start with the carrots because they're gonna take the longest to break down. Then I'll add the other vegetables gradually. And then what I want you to keep in mind is that I already have my noodles that have boiled on the back of the stove. Now I used a regular spaghetti noodle, nothing fancy, okay? They do have lo mein, chow mein, all those type of noodles out there, but this is my version and spaghetti noodles are okay. So as you can see, I'm going in, adding all of the vegetables and just giving them all a good saute.
Now this is the beef out of the refrigerator. While it was in the refrigerator, that oil separated, which is the fat, and it rose to the top of that bowl. So that's the yellow, thick, jelly-like um, substance that you're looking at. Once it hits the skillet, it's going to melt and incorporate flavor into the vegetables. Now I'm going in, I'm adding those spaghetti noodles. And if you're paying attention to the screen, we've already added in some extra seasonings. We've also added in some teriyaki sauce. Now at first, it's gonna look like you don't have enough of sauce and you don't have enough of vegetables. But you have to marry the ingredients with the spaghetti noodles. Keep mixing, keep incorporating everything together. And little bit by little, you'll see your noodles become more brown in color and all of the ingredients will begin to stick to the noodles i'm going to use this everything bagel seasoning because that seasoning have like all three types of sesame seeds the white the brown and the black sesame seeds so i'm going to use those now again we are continuing to incorporate the vegetables with the noodles and as you can see the colors are starting to look or resemble more of that lo mein tan or brown color in nature also the teriyaki sauce helped with that now we're going to go ahead and add some of the pepper sauce to this particular bowl all right remember we don't want to make the entire pot spicy and then i'm going to go ahead and drizzle some more of that teriyaki sauce over top of this spicy bowl of the beef teriyaki lo mein and another little drizzle of the sesame seeds and here are those ingredients that went into making this lo mein Now here's that bonus clip of me cleaning the beef if you desire to see it. If not, go ahead and have yourself a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.